Okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, well, today we're here with uh, an author. Her name is Nicole Leckenby, and she has written several books. Um, and we'll talk about that with this interview. Uh, okay. So, uh, Nicole, tell us yes. a little bit about your background and uh, how you became a writer. Oh, okay. So, I really fell in love with writing probably in 11th grade. Um, my English teacher was very strict, but I learned a lot and it kind of made me want to pursue writing more. Um, I've also had a really easy time with writing, which sounds weird. Like as long as I have my general thought or first sentence, I'm usually able to um, write the paper, the book without much of a problem, like at least the first draft. Mm -hmm. um, but I've always loved writing. I wrote like little short stories when I was a child. And then when I went to college, um, I got a degree in media communications with a nonfiction track. Nice. So um, so how, how long do you think that you have been writing? I know that wasn't one of the questions that but uh, I think that, I guess it's been a while then. Definitely a while. Um, my first book was published in 2008, which was what, 12 years ago, 13 years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I've been writing longer than that. Yeah. I wrote for um, a couple different websites. I've had things published and- Nice. Well, um, so so with this writing, who has your who has been your biggest influence? I don't see that's a tough one because I can write a lot of different styles of writing, like these children's books. That was something new to me, but I haven't necessarily followed another author's style of writing for them. It's just something I've done myself, mm -hmm. and then I've written stories for websites about aliens making the pyramids, which I mean, you kind of just got to go on your own for that one. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of <laughs> authors I like and I enjoy, and I've actually had the privilege of interviewing a few of them. Um, but to say I follow them or have they've got me inspired, I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, Sometimes just there's a ton of things that can influence you. It doesn't have to necessarily be one person. So um, now, uh, do you have a YouTube channel, Nicole? I do, and I will give you the link to post. Okay, and we'll have that in the information section um, of this video so that everybody can uh, stop by and see what you're all about there. So um, what, uh, well, what, how do, um, I have, uh, I wondered how what YouTube meant to you as far as like your um, do you publish some of your stories or do you how do you work with the YouTube? I started my YouTube channel probably just about a year ago mm -hmm. uh, when COVID came out. Um, I read my first story, Summer Vacation, um, on there, and it was actually shared by my local library. Um, and then I did some things for my son's elementary school mm -hmm. uh, where usually they'd have parent readers come in, but because of COVID, they didn't want extra people coming into the classrooms. So I recorded um, parents reading different children's books and I've been sending them to the teachers. Um, so they still have that story time and the kids kind of still have their parents coming into the classrooms. Yeah, and maybe their grandparents. I don't know. Yeah, and their grandparents, <laughs> maybe their aunt. <laughs> yeah, it could be a bunch of people that come in and try to read those stories. <laughs> Some um, of us don't do so well, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to really start um, revamping my channel and kind of doing more interviews and posting more things about my books as well um, and kind of changing the focus a little bit. Mm -hmm. So once school's over and the teachers are done with those parent teacher parent readers um i'll be able to do that i don't okay. want to take away the parent readers quite yet 
Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be good. Um, well, in case uh, people are wondering, this is my older daughter. <laughs> And um, she is quite the writer, I have to admit. And uh, well, we're going to talk about this in a second. <laughs> um, uh, what advice would you give to new authors? Just keep writing. Don't give up. You know, there's a lot of people that will give you really hard, ignorant criticism. Um, you just have to take it with a grain of salt because writers get jealous. And they're very envious. Mm -hmm. So you need to just take their criticism. If it's something with your style or your writing, you know, grammatic, fix what you can. But don't change who you are as a writer because somebody said they didn't like your writing. Correct. Yeah, that's that's like with art, too. You know, everybody has their own style. And uh, some people will criticize. Instead mm -hmm. of giving constructive criticism, they got to just jump on you. Yeah. Well, uh, tell us more about your books that you've recently published. Okay. Um, well, here, let me grab them. Come back here. Okay, so you and I actually started this whole children's book series together. Yes. You did the illustrations, but my first one was some, well, Summer Vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that was about the little boy um, starting his first day of school and the teacher asking, um, you know, what did you do over summer break? And he goes through a bunch of different things. And then it's Halloween. It's the same little boy, but he talks about all things October and Halloween and how much fun it is and how he loves it. And then the last book, which is the COVID one, um, talks about, you know, just being a kid in school these days with the COVID and having to social distance and, you know, having to keep your mask on and learning school from home. And every one of my books though is associated with a different charity. So for every book purchased, I donate a dollar um, to either Alex's Lemonade Stand, Young Adult Survivors Network or Safe Place, depending on which book you buy is how I decide what charity the dollar goes to. That's nice. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so yes, um, as as we worked on this together, uh, we kind of came up with a little series. So there's going to be more books associated mm -hmm. with this little boy. And as as he um, gets a little older, he gets a little better looking too. <laughs> so, because this person has never illustrated before. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yeah, this was so. something new for both of us. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And uh, so, um, so where where can we find you? Like, as far as websites and things. Oh, uh, looks like you. Okay, we're gonna hold on a second. We had we had something happen to Nicole that uh, happened to me the first time I did this. <laughs> It will be fine. It's no problem. <laughs> the answering machine was going off, so I didn't want like that whole thing. Yeah, it's been crazy. <laughs> Try to do an interview. It's not as easy as it looks. Like that. Uh, so where can we find you, like as far as your websites? I mean, we can list this in, in the information section, but uh, do you want to just talk about that for a minute? And Sure. I, I have an author page on Amazon, um, which is www.amazon.com slash author slash Nicole Lockenby. Um, I have a website. I think that when you go on Amazon, hold on one second, you can okay. just put her name in and it, it, her her page comes up. You don't have to go through all that. You just have to go <laughs> Amazon and then just put her name in and it'll find her. Because there's not too many people named Nicole Lockenby, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's a good thing. <laughs> So, okay, I'm sorry. No, so right. you're so and cool. Then yeah. I have, you know, the usual social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Okay. Well, that's great. And now, is there anything else that you would like to tell um, this audience about your writing or background or growing up? <laughs> well, now, now, um, you know, just just keep doing what you love, what you're passionate about, don't give up. Um, 
if you want to publish a book, then set your goals and publish your book, you know, do something so, new. Like writing children's books was something new for both of us. And, you know, now we're working on book four. Yeah. Yeah. That hopefully will come up at the end of the year, four and five, but I'm being very slow right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I got to get on the uh, drawing wagon, I guess. But <laughs> um, Yeah. So, I mean, like, to publish a book, you don't have to go through a publisher. I don't think like an actual publisher, you can go onto Amazon. And I think what your first book was through another company. I don't think they're in uh, business they're anymore. They're not in business anymore. Yeah. No. But uh, yeah. And uh, so, you know, do what you can. In other words, just do what you can and see what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot of authors around here anyway that have done, done that. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well, thank you, Nicole. I appreciate thank your you. time and uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Good, good. Okay, then. Uh, so don't forget to look in the information section and, and see where Nicole's located on her website and all the other social media sites and even YouTube. How about that? So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we'll see everybody and uh, till the next time, have a good one. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.